I just want to see the 20% of max HP on the boss and see see what it's like. First, we got to get through these waves, but I think CR is going to take care of that. Oh. That was Virgil's AoE with his silence. So he's pretty fast right now. He's just not hitting worth a crap, though. Who's worth giving my legendary potions to? Evra, Hector, Bran. I don't know. It's harder to say on those. It's really hard because the second ascension on some of those are really good. It just depends. Hey, everybody look for that arcane sanction. Has he, he hasn't gotten it up on anybody. Wait, wait. He just took it. He just took it. Man, that was huge. It was 20%. Did you guys see that? Oh, I missed it. What's his percentage to apply it? It's like a... It's at the end of the enemy's turn. And it's good too because this guy takes two turns in a row sometimes. So it's always during the enemy's turn he's got a chance to apply it. No po Who's putting up no positive effects? No, that's Arcane Sanction. That's it. He's going to he's gonna blow. He's going to take 20% of his max HP when he does the skill with a cooldown. Dude, how did Virgil take that many turns? Okay, that's not a cooldown skill. Now his next one. Is that a cooldown skill? The spin one will be, right? This one. That's a cooldown. And boom. <laughs> How much was it, though? I didn't get to see the amount. What is 20% of this guy's... Uh, I saw it was nice. Yeah, 20% is huge. Our boy here is putting up a debuff. They could hit someone for 20% of their max HP on any boss we fight. And it's up to them taking turns. So how good would the tanky Virgil do against like Witch of the Wind who's taking turns all the time? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Booyah, let's go. Mm. Yeah, you want to keep her alive. You want to keep we want to keep them all alive. I'd have I have in my free to play I have revival on Voluk as well because you're farming Queen of Tide the whole entire time. Revival helps out. Melisa? Lunar Melisa? HP, HP, speed. Man, these aren't even these aren't even decked out though. What are we looking at? 100 focus. 209 speed. Okay. All right. Lunar Melisa all over to our boy here. 107 focus. And 248 speed. Wow. This guy has got some speed on him. I don't know why we need 248 speed, but he's got a little bit more survivability. Ah, this dude needs some defense. He needs some HP. He needs it all. All right. Let's go into... Let's go into something like uh, Witch of the Wind. See what happens. Hmm. I don't know what I intend to do with him. I just wanted to pull, and we luck well, luckily we got him right away. So it wasn't like a waste, I don't feel like. We got our legendary on the normal banner, and then we got our legendary on his banner very quickly. So, you know, we got an extra copy in case one day you can actually use other heroes. This isn't really getting them up like I wanted to, you know? I figured a 40 there. Okay. One got on her. Now I figured a 40% chance. Anytime they take a turn, 40% chance to apply arcane sanction to a target for one turn at the end of any enemy's turn. Oh, this character will convert four rage at the end of the turn into a bonus turn too. I mean, this guy's pretty good. Grants one rage, remove a positive effect. I mean, this, this, this could be a, like a really good tower unit, right? We've got all these silence with Virgil. And then we put up the sanction on him. And he gets additional turns like that. I, I, I think he could be a really good tower unit. That you make tanky. Like we've got him right now, right? Okay, these these each of these boys have it up. We're going on four minutes and 46 seconds. It's slow though. It's really slow. We've got no other DPSers. It's pretty damn slow. Mm, 
not up on her. Oh no, it went up on her. Okay. It's on her, but she's got that shield. We need to knock out this guy on the right so we can stop putting up the shields. Because I want to see it when she goes ape shit and starts taking turn after turn, you know? Hey, Rage. Ragenfeld, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. It is 9 p.m. Cheers to you all. Hope you're going to have a, a good start to your day. Or if you're in Australia or somewhere like that, maybe you're uh, at the end of the night like me. Come on, take this guy out. It's taking too long to take the right guy here. But we can't make him we can't make him offensive heavy. He'd die here. He'd die quick. Come on. It's like a 10 minute battle. With a rebel set? Uh yeah, with a stun set on. Is that a stun set? I think a stun set would make it great for him, sure. Okay, we got 20% uh, on the, the left guy now. Come on, get it up on the boss. Let's go. I don't know what happened to the buff on the on the, on the the left guy just then. He had it up on him. Did he take 20% of his... I don't think they have high HP here. That's another issue too. They don't have high HP, but she does take a lot of turns. So I wanted to see... Okay, she got one on right now. We're about to see her drop by 20%. But she really doesn't have a lot of HP. She just goes nuts. When she gets below 50%. And I don't see two popping. Yeah, I don't. They're 20%. She just took. I don't think we can get two on one target. It would have been really crazy if they take like multiple, multiple turns and you could have two of these debuffs on someone. Popping for 40% of their max HP would be pretty nuts. It's good that we're testing it out. There it is. It's up on her again. Biggest hold up in this game is gear charms. I hate to level gear from 12 to 15. Okay, she's under. Here we go. Hold on one minute. I'll tell you, Graveyard. And I do agree. Leveling gear from 12 to 15 is is uh, is rough. And they could, when we have guild versus guild and other kind of PvP like real time arena or what? What did she just get on her? What is that bonus? Come on, get the debuff on her. It's the thunder lightning. The thunder and the lightning. Screw that dude. Just get the debuff on her. There she go. She's got it. So we just get one more on her and it's done. Take a turn. Go ahead. Take more turns. Go ahead. Do it. And 20%. And she's killing us. Okay, she got it on again. Okay, next turn she's dead. Mm, it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool uh, on this. I, I don't think we're going to be able to survive 12. This was 11. Maybe we should have tried 12 since it takes so long. What do you think? I don't, I don't think this would be a great 12 team, but I mean, what? Do you guys even farm 12? Because 12 seems like it's pretty difficult. I can use... I can use Gorel in here and do a faster run. I can use the same exact team with Gorel instead of Virgil. But I do like what Virgil's doing. 